Let's go over what's included when you buy the MPPT solar charge controller. So we offer 10, 20, 30, and 40 amp solar charge controllers. And this is what's included. We have two sol uh, manuals here. We have the charge controller itself. And you have a remote meter with a mounting bracket, ethernet cable, and mounting screws. So as any standard solar controller, you have positive, negative leads for the solar panel, battery, and load to connect into. You also have a communication port that's used for connecting the included remote meter here. Now the remote meter is a real-time monitor monitoring of uh, data and works and it, uh, tracks the working status of a controller. It, you can browse and modify charge and discharge control parameters and you also could uh, change the device parameters and load control parameters and also restore factory settings of the device. So let's go ahead and dive deeper into the LCDs of both of these and see how they work. So this is the LCD um, for our MPPT charge controller. This is where you're going to set all the parameters, all the settings, and this is where you're going to find all your information on your off-grid uh, solar system. So right now we have a 70 watt solar panel connected to the charge controller and a 12 volt battery, 12 volt battery connected as well. And we don't have a load connected. So let's go ahead and see what's on this LCD. Now as you can see here, we have a little sun and a solar panel charging a battery. Now this, uh, si this icon is going to change to like a moon if it's nighttime because of the onboard computer, it'll sense that it's nighttime. Um, these arrows right here means that the battery is being charged and the battery right here is being charged. That's a symbol for in charging. These symbols will change, um, but you could consult the operation manual if you want to know exactly what these symbols would look like. Now over here, we're going to have a battery setting and um, just pretty much um, information that is associated with whatever category you have here. Now, as you can see, the charge controller is toggling through automatically, but you can also press select here and toggle through the options as well. So right here you have PV for the solar panel. It'll show the voltage that is um, going to the battery. It'll also show the amps, kilowatt hours. Now it'll also show the battery voltage as long as the amps and the temperature of the battery. And now we have the load. Do we have zero amps because we don't have a load connected? If we did have a load connected, this light bulb here would uh, illuminate, so it'll have little lines going out of the light bulb. Now here, this is a setting for the load. If you hold down enter for five seconds, you could change through the settings here by pressing select. Now this basically means um, the charge controller is able to turn on and off the load depending on the time of day and depending on how many hours bypasses um, during the time. So for instance, say you want your load to be operating for three hours after the sun comes up. You can use these presets, um, or rather one of these presets would have that capability. So the charge controller would be um, having power go into the load, but after three hours it would shut off the load. So it's very interesting there. And that is the basic functionality of the LCD. And there's also more um, functionality. And as I said, you can uh, uh, go to the manual and you can see exactly what each symbol will represent. And you would have more of an idea on how to work the LCD. So this is a very brief uh, overview of the MT50 remote meter that's included with our MPPT 40 amp solar controller. There are going to be eight options when you connect this here. For option one is the monitoring center. And this is basically the same information that's on the LCD screen of the uh, solar controller, basically telling you the uh, solar panel, the battery charge status, and all the information about that. So I'm going to press escape. 
So device info is basically all of the information about the solar charge controller. Test operation, this is basically going to make sure that everything is running smoothly and there's no failures in uh, any of the components you have attached. If there is, you're going to see a warning light appear here. Control parameters is where you're going to have different types of batteries connected to the uh, uh, solar controller and um, if you want to charge these various ways. So over voltage, we have um, boost charge, boost under voltage, so various options like that. And you could consult the control man or the instruction manual to figure out exactly what you need if you want to charge your battery. Now load set, this is where you're going to basically, um, you know this is all the settings for the load. If you want to turn on the load at a certain time, if you want to turn off your load at a certain time, this is where you would set that. Device parameters, so this is basically more information about the device here. And if you want to set a password, this is where you can enter a password so that um, only you will know obviously and you could access this device using that password and a factory reset button to reset everything failure info just in case there are failures this device will give you information on that and meter parameters um, basically if you want to like change the brightness of the LCD display and whatnot various uh, components about this device here so that is basic a uh, general overview of the, rem the remote meter um, you can consult the instruction manual uh, for more in-depth information and look online for that as well. So thank you. And this concludes our overview of the MPPT solar charge controller with the remote meter included. Thank you for watching.